tomorrow's headlines today. Good afternoon, Klamath Basin. It is Wednesday, the 13th of June, 2018, and this is Stephen Floyd with the Herald and News. Here's a preview of stories you can find in tomorrow's edition of Herald and News. These are tomorrow's headlines today. After only two months on the job, Lakeview Police Chief Will Bahan has resigned from his position effective Friday. Lakeview officials have not described a reason for Bahan's departure, and according to the Lake County Examiner, he is leaving on good terms. Bahan was hired in April to replace Travis Grindle, who resigned in February after two years on the job. Lakeview has yet to name a full-time or interim police chief. A Klamath Falls man has been arrested for the alleged sexual abuse earlier this month of two young boys. 19-year-old Anthony Clay James was arrested Monday for allegedly abusing two brothers, ages 7 and 11, who then reported the abuse to their mother. James appeared in Klamath County Circuit Court Wednesday on Measure 11 sex charges and faces at least 25 years in prison if convicted. Bly has joined local communities whose water use is restricted only to human consumption this summer. The restrictions took effect June 4th by order of the Oregon Water Resources Department following a call on water by the Klamath tribes. Residents using the Bly water system may not wash cars, water lawns, or spray sidewalks and may only use water for purposes such as cooking, cleaning, and bathing. Driver error has been identified as the cause of a fiery semi-truck crash that temporarily shut down Highway 97 Tuesday morning near Chiliquin. A report by Oregon State Police said driver Mata Rigoberto of Tucson, Arizona, was at fault when he rear-ended another semi-truck near Chiloquin Boulevard. Both trucks caught fire and Rigoberto was hospitalized with moderate injuries. The other truck was stopped in a line of vehicles waiting on construction crews. Hiring and construction have begun at Holiday Market in downtown Klamath Falls. Roughly $2 million in renovations are underway to prepare the store for a target opening date of September 30th. The grocery store, located in an old Hagen market, will bring an estimated 40 to 50 jobs to the city. The building had been vacant since 2015 and was sold to Holiday Market last year for $1.9 million. A Taste of Klamath is returning to Ross Ragland Theater this weekend for its 16th year. Scheduled for Saturday at 5 p.m., the event showcases food and specialty beverages from around the region. Tickets are $30 in advance and $35 at the door. This year's event coincides with a special sneak peek at the Ragland's new digital cinema project. And those are just a few of the stories you can find detailed in the Thursday, June 14th edition of Herald and News. Be sure to follow us online via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, and of course, heraldandnews.com. You can also subscribe to our podcasts on iTunes and Google Play. Be sure to check back each day for the latest podcasts, videos, and breaking news impacting the Klamath Basin. Thanks for listening.